Then you got the call from Mr. Hitchcock uh, mm. to make Marnie. Yeah. Now, from what I've read, most people accepted Hitchcock roles without having read the script. Is that the case? Yeah. And how was it different for you? Well, because I was very curious as to what it was, because at the time of offering to me, Grace Kelly was supposed to be playing the other part. Uh -huh. And... Uh, the tippy head and Yes, and uh, so I said, well, I would you know, certainly like to read it. Not unusual, I thought, because I would equally say, I don't think I'm right for it, or this is more American than, than I could ever be. Yes. And, um, but I liked it, mm -hmm. and eventually I had a terrific time with him. Were you worried that it was a controversial part because uh, he's very sexually aggressive? There's a rape scene that we're about to watch. Oh, no, no, not at all. I mean, uh, I don't think I was that concerned of these, about these kind of issues yes. at all. And his preparation for movie making was uh, second to none in terms, of, in terms of what he wanted in the script and he'd visualised and everything. And, I enjoyed enormously working with him. Tell us very briefly the storyline of the film so we can understand what's happening here. Well, it's a girl who's, um, from what I remember, I'm not very good in the past. <laughs> eh? Proust's okay, I'm not. <laughs> um, uh, she was a girl who had a terrible time and her mother had been a hooker. And I played a very wealthy Boston type. She comes as a secretary and then steals the money. Yes. And then I go and after you're her. Erotic, you're sexually attracted, attracted because she steals the money. Well, a combination of quite a few things. <laughs> it's usually the smoke coming at the end of a tunnel. <laughs> oh, yes. That was <coughs> not fair enough, right? Look at there. I mean, they've really shaved your eyebrows there, haven't they? Well, yeah, they did everything in my first kind of introduction to uh, the kind of perfecto, as it were, of the Hollywood. I think they really wanted somebody like Cary Grant, yeah. uh, or Cary Grant, whatever it is. And uh, then the same as with the, uh, the hairline had to be perfect with the piece, and, yes. the, and then the guy had a special way of doing your eyebrows and Plucking? Yes, he did everything. And uh, the li and then there would never had could be a sort of suggestion of a... Yes. Like, not like uh, everybody now with a stubble look, yes. you know, which is... Let me ask you a question. I see that everybody still walks around these young people with their shirt hanging out. What yes. does it mean? It's so uncomfortable. That's how they get a chill in the kidneys. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, that was sort of the mode for... Yes. Um, Hollywood then, and Hitch was very much, and you know, he had a saying, he always said, whatever your question got a little too involved, I never had too many problems in discussing anything with him, he would mm -hmm. just say, oh, it's just a movie. <laughs> you know, no, no matter what, and he, in that movie, had some major problems because we had, he was producing and directing, and uh, the uh, blue screen stuff was not working, mm. and we had to do it three times. Mm. And uh, he had quite a lot of flack from stuff that was not going well. And the woman who wrote the, the film... J. Preston Yeah, J. Preston Allen. And marvelously dynamic. She told me, I always remember that when she was young, she was so kind of electric with herself that she used to put cotton wool between her toes, which must tell you something. <laughs> And she came and was sort of watching and rather put, um, I think, uh, Tippy off quite a bit. But in spite of it all, it came out in a funny way. It had one of these kind of retarded, later recognition for yes. being a certain kind of movie. Absolutely.